up everybody this is Amy Fig and I'm gonna be working in this really simple journal that I made um, it's just this multi-purpose paper the kind we use for our printers at home or at work um, and I have this digital download design available in my Etsy shop um, if you ever wanted to try this and it's, it gives you this type of image. We've got lines here. Then we have just this kind of um, tea stained look. And then we have this tea stained with a little bit of texture look. Um, so I'm going to be working in this journal today to show you how um, just a really simple design and basic paper can hold and withstand any type of paint you want to use and uh, anything you want to make in your art journal, anything you want to express. So um, I'm going to be using these brushes. I just grabbed a handful out of my drawer. They're different sizes. Um, I'm also going to be using some super matte medium. This is from Golden. It's a, a matte gel medium that I'm going to use to adhere any collage pieces to the page that I need to. I'm going to start out with these pieces of paper. I don't know if I'll use these or some different ones, but these are what I have here to get me started. I don't really have a plan per se, except to use the same three or four techniques that I use to get me started on something. Um, I'm going to be using acrylic paint and the ones that I have here are golden brand. This I really love this brand. I've used all kinds of brands um, and this so far has been my favorite with the quality of it. Um, also a good brand is Liquitex Basics and I have some titanium white because I tend to use white the most out of all the colors that I get if I buy like a paint set I always run out of the white first so um, I decided to try this one to see if it how it worked out because it was a little bit cheaper than the golden and to have that one too um, so I just wanted to see what this is like and it's really good I recommend it I like it a lot so I'm using that um, maybe some a graphite pencil and maybe some charcoal pencils and possibly some of these gel pens. There is a chance that I might use these. Um, they are acrylic high flow. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I don't have a plan. I just, my plan is that I would like to show how I work in this personally. and. Um, I do have this example of my doodles, like I use markers in here. I also use um, acrylic paint. I use this for note taking, I use it for design plan. Um, I put post-its in here, some that I keep because I think they're cute, and some that are beneficial <clears throat> for other things. This is acrylic in here and the page I only painted acrylic on one side of it and it holds up really well so yeah I just wanted to um, show you that you don't have to spend a whole lot on your journal if you want to just start trying it out or if you want more of a like casual portable on-the-go journal that you can take with you when you go out into nature or something like that. This, this one isn't, you know, so pristine and precious, but I mean, it is, it is your sacred journal, but it can fit into your bag and can be folded or however you want. So anyway, with all of that said, we're going to get started. So here we go.
Okay, so I'm at a stopping point now, and I just wanted to talk a little bit about what came out. And this is very um, telling of the way I'm feeling today. Kind of in and out of emotions. And this energy is spiraling inside me. And it comes and goes. And I have a rainbow here, which to me is a symbol of um, a promise and gives me confidence in knowing what I know and knowing that I know that I know. So um, you can see how I let the collage kind of show through here and there's paint around it. Same with this one. You can kind of see how the paper is there, but I painted over it. This is there's a butterfly here. Uh, the face. I could go into more detail, but I don't. I don't feel I need to. At least not right now. And I really like how the eye kind of came out, looking like a, a tear is getting ready to fall, maybe. I did not plan that, but it looks pretty cool. And then, as you can see, the the header of the paper is kind of peeking through the design. It shows kind of nicely. It makes it look cool. So, there you have it. That's my first journal entry in my new journal that I made got a good weight to it and I can also do some writing and taking notes here as well. So thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.